actually recorded for a Millennium Court Arts Centre of Portadown. This practice today is specially designed uh, as known as an all-purpose practice, known as Sasa Asa. And Sasa Asa is all-purpose, specially designed to help you group together a certain posture to aid your practice within the chair and also very much suitable for anybody that suffers from arthritis. So this helps you to release and open up the joints a little bit more. So let's come to our seated chair practice here. What you will need today is a chair, a solid chair, preferably with no sides and a little bit of support at the back. So we're going to start off with uh, our seated pose. Our seated pose, check that your feet are firm on the ground. Avoid leaning too far back into the seat. We're just going to lift and rotate our shoulder blades back down. We're going to take a deep, deep breath releasing any tightness you're holding at the back of your neck and shoulders. Inhale and exhale. So we'll start off with a rising up into the arms here, dropping your shoulders. Inhale and exhale, turn your palms away from the body and reaching out wide. When you're reaching out wide, inhale, exhale, take your hands to the side of your body. Take a deep breath in, lift and roll your shoulders back again. Inhale, exhale, rising up into the arms. Feel this lift underneath the rib cage. Turn your palms away and reach, reach, reach out wide. Extending your right hand, extending into your left arm and extending the arms all the way back down the side. Take a deep breath in, lift and roll your shoulder blades back. We're going to slowly circle the right foot, draw your knee up a little bit higher. Engage, see if you pull that knee a little bit closer towards your chest. Release that leg, take your hand to the opposite side, lift up and circle into the foot. So try to avoid dropping too far back into your seat. Try to keep this lengthening sensation in the crown of your head, so you're activating your core. What's happening here is when you take this here knee quite close towards your chest, you're opening into the hip joint, opening across the top of the knee, and allow yourself to get that circulation going in the foot, freeing up the foot. So re releasing that leg. Inhale, exhale, we'll go back to your right. Circle into the foot, breathing in and breathing out and release. Going into your left, circle into the foot. And this time, when you rise up into the arms, lifting up, take a deep breath. You're going to extend your arms all the way back down. So working in our coordination here, you're going to lift up this knee, hug real close towards you, maintaining the spine nice and long, engaging, and then release the foot as you work in your coordination, extend your arms out wide, rising up, inhale, exhale, release your hand all the way halfway, tug your knee towards your chest. So flowing in between the posture, Working in coordination here. Release this leg to you reach your arm all the way up towards the sky. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, exhale. So allow yourself to flow. This is part of the bird sequence. Inhale, exhale. Working into your arms, working into your spine, working into the legs. Release your arms halfway. Hugging that knee real close. Focusing on your breath. Hugging. You can wish to drop your head a little bit closer towards your knee so you feel an extra stretch across your back of your neck. And then slowly to release your hand, release that foot, rise up into the arms, reach your arms up high. So focusing on your breath, you're going back to your right hand side, moving a little bit closer. So can you pull your knee quite close towards your chest and soften your head down a little bit more. Each time, inhale, exhale, rising up into the arms, stretching up. Inhale, exhale, going into the opposite side as you work on your coordination here. Inhale, exhale, hugging that knee real close, focusing on your breath, breathing in and breathing out, rising up. And one more time, inhale, exhale, take your hand to the top of the shin, pull that a little bit closer, take a deep breath here. You don't have to feel that you need to rush and then lower that foot Extending your arms up wide, reach, reach, reach all the way up. 
Inhale, exhale, draw that knee in close, focusing on your breath, breathing in and breathing out, reaching all the way up and then slowly relax your arms all the way back down the side. Lifting and rolling your shoulder blades back and now we're going to open up our hip joint and coming into standing. So come into standing, stand behind your chair. So when you're standing behind your chair, we're going to lift that a little bit more forward. We start off with little standing paddles like this here, stepping your left foot back and stepping your right foot back. So take a deep, deep breath, stepping. And each time, see can you reach the foot, extend this foot back a little bit further. So you're almost coming into that lunge position. So breathing in and breathing out. Inhale and exhale. And then slowly, as you lift this leg, see so can you slide this foot as far back as you can go as you come into this extended lunge. When you're coming into this lunge posture here, try and straighten up into the arms. Pull your weight into the back foot here, into the heel, allow yourself to pull back and almost feel the sensation while sit into the hip joint. Now you can stay here for a little bit longer, stay and hold, deep, deep breaths, inhale, exhale for one, two, deep, deep breath, three, keep lengthening the spine, four, Five, exhaling, six breaths, and stepping that foot forward. And you start to feel a shift and change in that hip joint. Stepping your left leg back, we always work on the opposites. Pressing into the heel, sinking your hip down, checking that knee is facing forward. Your arms are straight. Inhale, exhale for two, three, four, five, inhale and exhale for six breaths and step my foot all the way forward. Now we're going to lengthen our spine and our hamstrings and our shoulders. So take a few moments here and step both feet all the way back. Stepping all the way back, relax your head, lengthen your spine, draw your navel in, focusing on your breathing. Take deep breath and relax, nod your head to your side to side, forward and back. Breathing in and breathing out for two, three, four, five. Exhaling for six breaths, soften your knees, scoop the tailbones down and walk all the way towards the back of your chair again. When you're walking all the way towards the back of your chair, have a little check with your posture. Your feet are hip width apart. Rolling your shoulder blades back, extending your arms up overhead, dropping your shoulders, inhale, exhale, clasping your hands, interface your fingertips and lengthen your whole body up. A little soft side stretch to your right, a little side stretch to your left, breathing in and breathing out towards your right, and towards your left. And then slowly lengthen those arms all the way back down the side again. Lift and roll your shoulder blades back. Take your hand to the back of the chair. Allow yourself to bend your knees. Inhale, exhale. Coming right onto the top of the ball of your feet. Lower your heel. Take a deep breath in. Allow yourself to lift up right onto the ball of your toes. Bend your knees. Inhale, exhale, coming all the way back onto your feet. Breathing in, bending your knees. Inhale, exhale, helps you strengthen those joints a little bit more in your ankle. So you strengthen the joints on your knees. Inhale, exhale, coming all the way back onto your heel. And now we're going to step back and stretching out into your spine. Deep, deep breath. Inhale, exhale for one, two, three, 
four, five, and six breath. Soft your knees, scoop the tailbones down, walking nice and gentle all the way forward. Standing nice and tall, breathing in, turning your palms away. Allow yourself to clasp your hands, reach into your fingertips, extending into the arms, reaching up, 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 up overhead. Focusing on your breath when you're up overhead, lengthening your spine. Inhale, exhale, release your hands all the way back down to side. Roll your shoulders back. Allow yourself to take your hand, leaning into the seat again. Allow yourself to come onto the ball of your toes. Bending your knees, scoop your tailbones down, slowly push all the way back onto your heels. Be mindful, allow yourself to slowly step your right foot back, pressing onto the heels, lengthening your body a little bit more, and then slowly coming all the way forward, stepping your left foot all the way back, bending that knee a little bit more, inhale, exhale. And slowly coming all the way back into center and once you come back into the center here allow yourself to lift up focusing on your breath so always checking that you're standing tall so you're not stooping so you're standing nice and tall lengthening the crown of your head draw your navel in scooping your tailbones down check that your feet your hip in the park and your weight bearings on the outside edge of feet and avoid this sensation of your knees rolling in Inhale, exhale. Allow yourself engaging your tummy. Deep, deep breath. Reaching your arms up and overhead. Clasping your hands. Reaching up. A little soft side stretch to your right again. A little soft stretch to your left again. So allow yourself coming back into centre and help you to release any tightness in your hands and your wrists. It's going to be circular motion in your wrist joint and then allow to clasp your hands stretching out into the fingertips and your palm draw your hands towards your heart extending and then hand towards your heart go into a little wave releasing any tightness in those wrists in those shoulders 